Hi guys, for today's video I'm going to be filming outside because inside I'm just not feeling it. So for today's video we're going to be talking about the Pat McGrath. I actually have three, the one, two, and three. So I'm just going to be filming what my top five favorite shadows are from each one. So these videos are going to go kind of fast. I'll pick the five and then I'll pick why. Alright, for the first... It's going to be, obviously, this green. This green is crazy. Um, these four are Pat McGrath's special baked formula. Um, I forgot to do an intro, but I'll do it later. Okay. Um, should I do it? I don't know where to do it. Right here. This green has, like, a dark base to it, so it feels like a black eyeshadow with green in it. But this green is, like, very cool. When you turn it sideways, it looks like it has a black shift to it. Uh, eyeshadow number two is probably going to be this, mm. it's going to be this one, this one, you can't really, it's like, um, a pink, oh yeah, gold, and then it like looks pinkish right there, so this one has like a double shift to it. You can't even see it on my skin. But it would make a great topper for like a matte shade, especially like a black. She has this. Um. Okay, and then the third one is going to be this gold one. This is hardcore. It's very like, how do you even call it? Very flaky. There you go. That's the right word. So it's very flaky. Um. So I recommend using like your finger with this one instead of using a brush because it might fall everywhere. Um, okay, so there's these three and then I'm probably like this. I'm super into like browns that are like um, red and it feels really creamy. Let's put it right there. I honestly use any kind of dark brown for like my eyebrows. I won't ever use black for my eyebrows. So I really enjoy this for deepening up the look, but I guess you can also use that. And then I like to put it in the brow, um, especially so it won't look like black. It's just like a dark brown. And then, so that's one, two, three, four. Um, probably. I wasn't going to go with this one, but I think I am. This one is like, it's kind of like, it's like a clear, a clear base top coat. Um, oh, this one feels like kind of dry. It might be this palette though. So it's kind of like a very, very sheer pink flag to it. But this one, I like uh, these type of shades I like to put in the inner corner or on the lid if you like put something down. You can even put it over a metallic to give it a little pop. But yeah, these are my top favorite. Um, yeah, I forgot to do an intro, so I'll do it for the other videos, but um, I'll see you guys in the next one.